All right, here we go. Spiraling with two hands. We're going to do the same thing we did with the one hand, except we're doing both hands. Not like we did when everything comes in together, but we're going to have it more three-dimensional spiraling. You'll see this a lot in Tai Chi, Tai Chi uh, routines. It's usually called wave hands, like moving clouds, or cloud hands, or you might just hear uh, teachers shorthand it by saying wave hands or something along those lines. So we're going to do it um, the normal way, kind of coming out. We're going to shut down and do it coming in. Then it's going to be with the walking like we did before. And then I'll show you a way to kind of split and go kind of both sides at the same time using more up and down. So you get more of like elongation with it. So again, you can either keep here at shoulder width. I recommend toes out, knees over the feet, or a little bit wider. We're going to start with the left for you, right for me, on top. Scoop the other hand underneath. So we want to be keep the hands together. We're not going to have one hand here and one hand doing keep them together. So I'm going to twist to the left, pull down, lift up. Same four part thing we did before. Turn over both hands and come across. Pull down, lift up, rotate both hands and come across. Pull down, lift up, rotate and turn. Both hands. See how my hands are together too. And then there's a part where they both cross. and But they both rotate together as well. Getting used to the body working as one unit together. As opposed to just sort of, I don't know what I'm doing. And then the body, I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what's going on. You got to get used to how the body feels and how to make it work the way it's meant to instead of just sort of being at the whim of whatever impulses we have control them hence the breathing together with the motions the motions being smooth and even and coordinated Okay, right after this, we're going to do one more each side. There's that. Now switch. So, bottom hand's going to come to smooth. Top hand, my left, probably your right, is going to push. So we close now. But again, your right, my left, comes down. The other hand spirals up. And look, there's that crossing point. And then they switch. So the bottom hand is still pulling down and smoothing. The top hand is still pushing and then pressing down. Now we have both hands moving together. And again, see how they're kind of crossing my center line at the same time. My arms aren't collapsed. There's a little space between my inner arm and my body. But not so much for now. Everything's getting all tense and, and working weird. Two more each side. So there's one, there's two, good. So same thing as before, we're going to do the same stepping we did before, so that up, out, down, shift, up, out, down, shift, come in. Same stepping we did for the first part, but now we're going to use both hands.
I bring my arms up. Again, I'm going to take my right, probably your left, turn, other hand scoops, lift up, step out, and move the arms with. As I'm here at the center, so I should be about 50-50 with my weight as I'm here in the center, and then shift, come in, and down. Up, out. See how my knees are still over my feet too. I'm not letting my knee kind of come in or too out too much. Keep it over the knee, over the foot. Trust me, that is a very important alignment, especially as you get older. And now we're going to switch. So I'm just going to stand here and reset so I can step out with that other leg. My pug just woke up. Hi, oh buddy. Sleepy bear. He's so sleepy. I don't know where the cat is. We're going to do one more. Good. Now, last one here for this for this part. Here, my socks are all over here. So last one for this part, we kind of did with the circles where we did together, and then we kind of split. So we're going to kind of do that here with the two hands. So it's almost going to be like we're holding the ball, and we're going to turn, and we're going to split. So the one hand's going to come up, one hand's going to come down, one hand's and the but they're both going to push. So we're going to come together and hold the ball. The bottom hand, yin, will become yang. The top hand, which is yang, will become yin. So we're going to hold, split, and push. Hold, split, and push. You see how this hand circles up and this hand scoops down. So very similar to what we were just doing with both hands. Uh, it's almost a sort of, uh, again, taking it to almost another sort of spatial dimension. So again, you can do either one with this. So, my right, your left, hold the ball, come up. So again, 50-50 with both the legs and the hands. As I turn my hips, I rotate my hands. Your right, my left, pushes forward, the other hand pushes back. And now we come in, 50-50, so both hands are even, Both the weight is even on both feet, and scoop, and up. And keep going. I'll try and show that kind of middle stage. So here the hands cross right as I'm 50-50 with my legs. So which other hand is on top is where your weight is. That whole side of the body is yang. The other side will be yin. You need both, and both change to the other. So we're gonna swim this out. Two more. One more. Good, so we'll switch. So bring that other hand in where you're at, hold the ball, and then we'll go the other way. Again, 50-50, push up and out, and back and down. My body isn't twisting out of whack. I'm keeping my shoulders and my hips together. One more after this. Right. 
and those are two hand spiraling exercises again from um, mostly from Chen style Tai Chi specifically any Tai Chi or any internals that you play should have a certain amount of that silk reeling in with it as well uh, but these are ways to kind of train that specific skill and then you put it back in that and into what you're doing now again it could be uh, martial arts it could be football basketball baseball especially baseball get that rotation in there without messing up your uh, core and your obliques it's happened to the Indians a few years ago too I kept messing up like they're kept having oblique pulls because you know they weren't this wasn't toned and, and moving right um, uh, but yeah anything you're gonna do and getting that that to motion let's get the blood motion uh, to move helps getting the organs to kind of massage a little bit especially if you're just sitting around all the time getting everything to kind of move and tone and work together uh, it is good so enjoy <laughs>